Yo, what's up, beautiful people of YouTube? Welcome to another video by Dom's Media Zone. Today, I'm going to be showing you a tutorial of Canon Digital Photo Professional 4 on how you can remove objects or people or any kind of things from your photo that you don't want in the photo. So I'm gonna show you a quick and easy way to remove those unwanted things. So for example, if there's a person in the photo that in, that's in the background that you didn't want in your photo, I'll show you how you can use DPP-4 to remove that person from your photo or if there's an object or, or something flying past that you don't want in the photo, I'll just show you how you can quickly and easily remove that from your photo. So if this tutorial is for you, stay tuned and I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Hi everyone, welcome to today's tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to remove unwanted objects or people that are in your photo. So say you took a nice photograph and there are some people in the background that you don't want to be there. I'll show you a way to remove these using the Digital Photo Professional 4 by Canon using this stamp tab over here. So I've got a photo that I took on the weekend and this was in Whitstable in the UK, which is just east of London for those of you who are curious. And what I'm going to do today is use the stamp tool to remove these three people in the background here and any kind of unwanted objects that we want to remove. So let's get started. So obviously open up the photo that you want to edit and then go ahead and click on this page here which is the remove dust from images or apply a stamp. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and as you can see the photo starts loading here and it does take a little bit to load depending on the size of your photo and I am working with a raw file so it is a large photo. All right, now that the photo has loaded, what I want to do is zoom in on the area that I want to remove the people from. So I'm going to go and hit here times one and it zooms in on the photo. I'm just going to drag across and find the people that I want to remove. So if I scroll up a little bit, what I'll do now is click on the select copy source. So what this does, if I click on this, it lets you point to anywhere in the image where you want to copy from. So say I'm going to start by removing this little girl here. So I'm going to click on the grass over here. And then once I've selected the copy source, you can see my cursor becomes the circle. If I go on my mouse, if I scroll forward, you can see this area gets bigger. If I scroll backwards towards myself, this area gets smaller. So I'm going to try and find a size that will cover that. And then all I have to do is once I got my size set up, I click on the left mouse button and as you can see, it starts copying the grass. And I don't know if you noticed, just on the right hand side when I click, like a little cross appears. As you can see, if I hold this down, can you see this cross? That's where it's copying from right now. So as you move and hold down the left button, it actually shows you where you're copying from. So now I've covered the part of this photo with the grass and I can go ahead and do the same over here, but the shadowing and the colors might be slight different here. So what I'm gonna do is click on select copy source again and then point to anywhere in the image again. And then once again, I can hold down the left mouse button and it shows me where it's copying from. As you can see here, it's not always perfect. So you might have to just copy source from a bit further back. And then what I can do is just go over that until we've got the grass lined up with these huts over here. Okay, so now that we've done that, I'm going to try and cover this lady up. So I'm going to select copy source and then I'm going to pick somewhere over here where it's kind of like a whitish source. And what I'll do is I'll just drag it all over this lady here. And then it copies exactly where that cross is. And as you can see, the cross moves along with the copy so that the best way to do this is go side to side. So you get like an even thing. And as you can see, I've made a bit of a mistake here. It copied some of the source from the side. So to undo this, just click this button over here. To redo it again, just click over here. I'm gonna leave this redone and I'll just correct it like this. So I'll just click over here now copy source from there and then I can go ahead and fill that area out and there we go that's pretty good the lady's gone from our picture and now we've still got this girl's hair over here which we're going to try and remove so this might get a bit more tricky because as you can see there's a little fence here and the hair is kind of behind the fence so it might not be perfect but it doesn't matter because when you zoom out on the photo later on you won't be able to tell the difference anyway so let's copy source from here and make this a little bit smaller Will this work? No, that's not really that good. So I'm just going to undo that. Let's copy source again and try to do something like that. Does that kind of look like a fence? Not really. We can always keep undoing. 
keep undoing or let's redo that that looks all right actually and then let's copy from here now and cover the hair up a bit there we go that looks pretty good that actually the bottom looks like it could be a part of the fence and as i said when you zoom out that's going to be really not that easy to see so to check how it looks now you can go ahead and click on this button in the left bottom corner here which is fit image to screen and as you can see the people are gone and you cannot really tell any difference even with this fence so i'm quite happy with that now let's go ahead and remove this man over here that might be a little bit more tricky but let's try and see what happens so once again i'm going to zoom over this part of the image where i want to remove someone and then select copy source and let's start with his leg maybe and what i'll do is i'll just go over the leg like that that part is gone now select copy source again go over his foot that's gone now select copy source now let's do the darker shading so let's copy from there uh did that work let's go again select copy source from here make it a bit smaller there we go okay great that part's gone now how do we get rid of this part here so we're gonna have to copy from the fence at the back somehow let's make this a bit bigger and go ahead and just kind of cover him up not perfect by any means but he is gone from the image so let's try and fix this a bit now so let's copy source although that does look like it's the stairs so let's kind of blur that in i mean it's not perfect but considering that this photo we're going to zoom out it's pretty good there we go there we go that looks like it could be a rail and part of the stairs and there we go now let's do one more thing let's try get rid of an object now so this is the chair same principle select copy source let's select from the hut let's make it a bit bigger here and then drag it with the lines there we go select copy source from down here and let's try stick with the lines straight so if i do this now there we go that seemed to have worked once again select copy source from here and then go at an angle pretty good okay i'm happy with that and then what i have to do now is match this part so i'm going to go select copy source from here and go up that way not perfect but i can always undo and make this a little bit smaller then select copy source from here there we go that's pretty good select copy source from the dark part and once again cover up and then as you can see we've got some lines that aren't really perfect here so you can do that again and make this smaller to kind of adjust to make it look good and there we go that's pretty good and then there's a little leg from the chair left still so i can just put some grass over here and then on this part i can just put some of the darker parts and there we go the chair is now gone so now if i fit to image to see how it looks as you can see the three people are gone from the photos so is the chair and it's looking pretty good which the nice thing about this is you can use it on anything so for example if i zoom in one more time and if i go on top here and at the back for example we've got this speeding boat over here say we did not want this or all these buoys and this little boat over here you can use this method to pretty much remove anything so if i go once again copy source make it a bit bigger all i have to do now is go over that and the boat's gone i can carry on going even more and the boat's gone select copy source from here get rid of this i keep clicking select copy source because i want it to match what's near the object so the best thing to do is always to match it what's near the object this one i messed up so i can always undo so i'm gonna go here there we go see if, if i don't match what's near the object and if i copy source from here for example you see the shade is a bit different because it's copying from where the cursor is so the shading is now different so what i like to do is just let's just undo that is copy from somewhere very nearby so that it looks almost identical so that you won't be able to tell a difference later on and there we go that's how you can remove all these buoys from your photos you can really use this technique to clean up your photo quite nicely if you just give it some time it does take a bit of time to clean all this up but if you've got a photo that's really worth it and that's one of your good photos you can go ahead and use this technique to clean it up nicely and we can zoom out and as you can see here the horizon is looking clear now the speeding boat's gone i could go ahead and remove all these buoys to clean this photo up really nicely and that's a technique you can use to remove objects or people or really anything from the photo that is unwanted and where you want to just clean up your photo and that's all for the tutorial for today i hope this helps you out with your photo editing
Thank you so much for watching. That's all I have for today. I hope this helps you out and I hope that it helps you improve your photo editing skills. So if it did help you out and if you did like this video, do give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, do hit the subscribe button below. I'm going to make many more cool videos in the future. So thanks for watching. Stay safe, take care and goodbye.